from Dallas, it's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, happy day. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. To different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that ends. Not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. If they have a good personality and they're not great looking, then who cares? Just say hypothetically, okay? What if they have a good personality? (laughs) There are no no girls girls with good good personalities. personalities. A good personality consists of a chick with a little hard body will satisfy all sexual demands without being too slutty about things and who will essentially keep her dumb mouth shut. The only girls with good personalities who are smart or maybe funny or halfway intelligent or talented, though God knows what the that means, are ugly chicks. Absolutely. And this is because they have to make up for how unattractive they are. <laughs> Sounds like the Tom Likas show, doesn't it? Yes, it's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I'm your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Lycus 101. It appears from all the phone calls, all the emails, what have you, many of you guys forget the basics. Many of you guys do not understand what this is all about. I am here to teach you how to get laid. Those of you who've been raised without your dad around because your bitter mom said he was a creep, a jerk, an a-hole, a deadbeat. Many of you do not understand that that deadbeat, that creep, that a-hole, that's who she spread her legs for. That's how you were born. This should be a revelation to you. Your mom said one thing and did another. Your mom got it on with a creep. Then told you not to be a creep because that's what women really want. But in reality, if that's what women really wanted, why did she spread her legs for that that creep who is your dad? I'm amazed at the number of young men who grew up in a household without their dad around. Who do not understand that that is what mom wanted. Mom wanted someone unreliable, undependable, a deadbeat, a creep. That's who mom wanted to have sex with. That's who mom wanted to start a family with. Your mom had you with a deadbeat. As I always say about deadbeat dads, if you don't want to have a deadbeat dad, don't have sex with a deadbeat. I have no sympathy for women who complain about deadbeat dads. The way you get a deadbeat dad is a woman spreads her legs for a deadbeat. Then when she has a baby, she complains that the guy's irresponsible. The guy was always irresponsible, darling. You spread your legs for him because women are attracted to creeps. Women are attracted to jerks. Women are attracted to a-holes. That's who women are attracted to. That's the truth. Deal with it. Deal with it. Your dad may be a creep and a deadbeat, but he got laid. Unlike you, he got laid. Maybe you should think all those things your mother said about your father, maybe those are the things that you should be. That's how you would get laid. Are you seeing what I'm trying to tell you? That creep, your dad, he got laid, by the way. 
Your mom also thinks he's a creep because he's still getting laid, probably by younger and hotter chicks than your mom. What a creep. You should be that much of a creep. Think about it. If you were that much of a creep, you'd be getting laid like your dad. Dating equals porking. The purpose of going on a date is to get laid. You need to know how to get a woman to give you what you want. And you need to stop convincing yourself that a date is about something other than sex. Dating equals porking. You are out there to get laid. We believe in the three strikes you're outlaw on this program. In this classroom. If a woman doesn't put out in the first three dates, kick her ass to the curb. Let's make it really simple here. If they don't put out, they have no benefit to us. We don't need them if they are not spreading their legs. I'm not kidding about this. You know, I tell jokes, and we kid around on, on the Tom Likas show, but in this classroom, I am your professor, and I am telling you, if a woman is not giving you sex, why are you wasting your time with her? At the very least, you could be spending your time more productively with women who find you attractive, women with whom you have chemistry, women who want to have sex with you. Why waste your time on chicks who aren't going to give it up? It makes absolutely no sense. None. None. Jesus. Three dates and you're gone. If you don't put out in three dates, you are out the door, sweetheart. You're done. If you have children, we're not going to have sex with you. It's that simple. We're not. No single mothers. We don't want to pay your child support. We don't want to take your little kid to Legoland. We don't want to take your little kid to Disneyland. We don't want to take your kid to the movies. We don't want to spend any money or waste any time. The reason we go on a date is to get laid, and I am here to bring you back to the basics, boys. That's the bottom line. How much easier can I make it for you? You go on a date. If she doesn't put out, you moved on to the next potential victim. It's that simple. You don't spend money. You don't waste energy. You don't meet her friends. You don't meet her family. You don't get into the sack with her and cuddle. You don't want to hug. You don't want to sit there and watch movie after movie after movie without as much as a kiss. Forget it. You're there to pork. That is why you're there. You must come back to the basic principle that the reason for dating is for a man to get laid. If you are not getting laid, if the odds are you're not going to get laid anytime soon, you are wasting your time. You know, we're not young forever, boys. At some point, we have to say, fish or cut bait. If we're not getting what, what, what we came to get, it's time to move on. Why do you tolerate this? Why do you have a girlfriend? Why do you live with somebody who doesn't give you sex? Why are you with somebody who doesn't put out? Why? You boys amaze me. I don't get it. When I am with a woman, trust me, there is sex happening. I may try to appear to be a gentleman for her benefit and not tell you about it. I may not give you details about it. Trust me, if there's a woman around, I am having sex with her. That's why I'm with her. I'm not with her to hear her political opinions or to hear her problems at the office. I'm not with her to hear about her cat, Fluffy, who's got a hairball problem. I'm there to get laid, and everything else follows. Or maybe it doesn't follow. But getting laid is the, is the key. Why do so many of you tolerate not getting what you deserve? 
I don't get it. Why do you get laid? You get laid because <laughs> it's a physical need that men have. It's like eating, breathing, sleeping, peeing. It's all physical functions. It takes care of physical needs. That's why you get laid. There's nothing morally wrong with it. It is natural as the day is long. That's what it's all about. And you guys who don't get what you came for really piss me off. Why waste time with a woman who doesn't give you what you need? If you're not getting what you need, kick her out. Kick her out of your apartment. Kick her out of your marriage. Kick her out of your life. Kick her out. If there's no chemistry there, if she doesn't want to have sex with you, it's time to stop wasting your time with her. You don't need new friends. You got pals. You got buddies. You got friends. You got people. New NFL season. You got people to watch the football game with. Folks, you got people to hang out with. You don't need more. Stop being a pussy. My job as your professor is to keep you from wasting time, money, and energy on women who aren't going to ever give you what you need. I am also here to answer the questions, complaints, and criticisms of women who are pissed off because I'm ruining it for you. If you feel that way about me, I will take on all comers. All you have to do is dial. Tom Likas. I love that name. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I had a boyfriend for three years. Because he listens to you, he has broken up with me. And he feels 100% better because he has completely listened to Tom Likas 101. So, <laughs> so you, th you think he's done the right thing? Yes, and he's doing quite well. I mean, he was a virgin when I met him. He learned quite a bit from me, but a lot more from you, Tom. It's Likas 101. On the Tom Likas Show. From Dallas, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Likas 101. I am your professor. Let's go to Maya on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hello, Maya. Hello. How are you? Do you care? Of course. I doubt it. Somehow I doubt it. Okay, fine. I don't care. <laughs> then don't be a phony. Okay. No, I really do care. I do. Really? Yeah. All right. Show us how much you care, darling. Oh, well, well, actually, I just had a uh, comment. I will a question. Actually, I. Why are you so like? against girls and women in general i'm not like the topic you're covering today i actually disagree with it i believe well, i'm not covering a topic this is a class uh, anything goes here as far as uh, uh material related to the uh, course uh, uh, curriculum well the thing is i think this would be a good learning uh, opportunity for your class uh, then tom what would be because uh, I think that men have feelings and emotions just as well as women do. And sex is not everything. It is to a man. What is it? It is to a man. Uh, well, it is, but they still have feelings and emotions, not just like... The yeah, mostly when you reject us and you don't give us the sex we came for. Well, I disagree with that because I think... Well, you're not a man. Wait, I'm no, I'm not a man, but I do, I do know a lot of men that they do have feelings that that they're not just looking for sex; they actually. Well, they're want going to tell you that girls. because they want sex from you. But they're not getting any, you see. Well, and they I don't know have... they're not going to get any, and uh, they don't know that you're just leading them on and wasting their time. They don't know that. Well, I don't think I'm leading them on. 
Well, they think uh, they, they think they're, they're going to have sex with you, and you don't tell them. Why don't you tell your the, your best male friend that 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 homosexual that you hang out with the most? Why don't you tell him that you will never ever have sex with him, no matter what happens? If a nuclear bomb dropped tomorrow and there were no other men, you would still not have sex with him. Why don't you tell him that? I do actually, and they're still right. my friends. Well, they still think that they have hope. Really? Yeah, they may be misled, or they may be crazy, but they still have hope. That's the only reason they're talking to you. Well, I still think sex is not everything they want. They still have one that a women's company. They get bored just, you know. Sex is not everything. So, and let's face it, anybody who's your friend is somebody you're not attracted to anyway. Oh, so what are you saying? I just said it. What, that I'm ugly? No, dear. I know how st you're stupid, clearly. But let, let's talk about this for a second. What I'm saying is that y the reason these guys are your friends and not your lovers is because you're not attracted to them. Oh, I'm not attracted to them, but they, they might be attracted to me. Well, there we go. That's my point. They want sex from you. You just made my point for me, dear. Okay. Well. Thank I'm you for making well. my point. That was very good of you. Uh, to do that. So, in other words, you just told me what I what I knew before you called, and that is that any man who talks to you is talking to you because he wants sex. And okay. if you even if you tell him he's not getting sex, if he's still talking to you, that means he believes that somehow he's going to get it, even though you said he's not. Even though he says that we're just friends or like coworkers and just I, hanging out. Dear, I've done this. You know how many times I've done this? I've been doing the show a long time. You know how many times I've done this on the air? I have called women's so-called male friends on the phone, and I've proven time and time again that these guys, if I said, if I called any friend of yours, and I don't know your friends, so you could pick any one of them, if I called any of your friends on the phone right now, on the air, and I said to him, I just talked to Maya, and you know what she said to me? She was always curious about what it would be like to have sex with you, but she's afraid to say it because... She doesn't want to ruin your beautiful friendship. 100% of the men out there would say they would have sex with you. Well, so you're saying that um, they're not just nice when they pay for the coffee or, you know, no. uh, go for like a co-worker lunch type nope. of thing? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I still believe that they care, you know, that... Uh, they well, you can believe that. Uh, that's wonderful. But why would they care about someone who's not attracted to them? Okay, you're confusing me right there. No, I, well, that's not hard to do, clearly. Okay, can you say that again? I thought you were intelligent. No, 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 you just confused me, like, how, right now. How confusing is it? I thought I was very clear. No, so if I'm What not part did you not understand? No, like you said, if I'm not attracted to... Them, but then, then what? What? <laughs> if I'm not attracted to them, but they're attracted to me... What is that you said? I'm sorry. The only reason they talk to you is because they're hoping to have sex with you. Okay. Well, it's good to know, Tom. But you just said it's not true uh, earlier in the call. That Oh, no, they just want to be your pal. Well, it's good to know. I understand it now. Oh, so now you understand that they, they the only reason they're still talking to you is because they want to have sex with you. Yeah, which I find that appalling, really. But, but, dear, it's true, you see. The only reason a man talks to a woman is because, A, he's gay, or, B, because he wants to have sex with her. Well, they're not gay, that's for sure. Well, how would you know if you haven't had well, sex the with them? Friends, they're my friends. I know. I could tell right away if they're All gay. right. Well, guess what? I mean, the, the only you know reason they're talking to you is because they want to see you naked. Well, I would call any one of them right now, and I will prove it, and you will cry. Even if they're married? If they're married, yes. That's the only reason they're talking to you. What, you think guys are married? They don't look at other women? They wouldn't have sex with other women? Are you kidding me? 
Well, no, because I thought they would respect the you know institution Please. of marriage. Oh, you are, you are, you are naive. You are. Then why do they get married in the first place if they're out there to have? Because sex? they want to have mommy at home. They want someone to make dinner, someone to come home to, someone to oh, wash so that, their that, socks. You know, that's not fair, then. If they want that, then why the heck are they looking for other women? Dear, I'm not defending it. I'm just telling you that I don't think they should get married at all. I think they should just F around all their lives. I don't think they should get married. Yeah, I agree with you. They shouldn't get married. There we go. You know, if they're going to break but somebody they do. else's. But they do. They used to having mommy around to pick up after them, and they marry mommy. That's what they do. And then have sex with other women? They would like to. That's why they talk to you. Okay. Well, thank well, you. you seemed awfully. You, by the way, when you called in, you seemed awfully sure of yourself. Well, I was because all, all the guys I know are extremely nice. They're very good. You know, they're. Well, they're why don't you offer to sleep with them and see how many say no? Well, I'm not trashy. I'm not gonna, you know, offer no. myself. No, if you're so sure they're not interested in having sex with you, offer it up. Well, I don't want to offend them, you know. Oh, yes, I know you're worried about offending them. No, you're worried they're going to say yes. Well, I'm just, you know, they're married. I don't want to just... Let's call that. them right now. What? Let's call them right now. <laughs> um... You don't have any goddamn guts, do you? Because you know I'm right. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't... Well, you it know... How much, it depends how much they love their, their wife, I guess. Uh, darling, if they're talking to you, it's because they want to have sex with you. Okay, here's another question. Guys only want to have sex... Wait a minute. First of all, you, start, you called in here like Miss Self-Assured, Miss Confident. Now you've got questions. Isn't that amazing? Well, I see now I'm learning at least. You know, that's oh, the, the so you admit you have something to learn. That's fascinating. Because when you called in here, you sure seem sure of yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> um, okay, here's the question. Do guys just want to have sex with anybody or the girls have to be attractive? Guys want access. By the way, are you? I, so I assume by that question you're not that attractive. I'm actually very beautiful. I, I really am. Attractive. So why would you even ask a question like that? Why do you care? I'm just curious. Like, do guys just want to get laid, period? Yeah, guys just want to. You remember that song by Cindy Lauper? I always wanted to rewrite the lyrics of that song. Girls just want to have fun. Guys just want to get laid. I want to write that song. Really? Even if the girl... Then like, I want to perform it. I want to sing it. Even if the girl, you can't even stand looking you know at her face. I, I, you know what? I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that pledge that at some point, I can't say by what date, I'm going to rewrite the lyrics to that song and I'm going to sing it in public. I'm going to rewrite it. and I'm going to call it "Guys Just Want to Get Laid." With anybody, with the girl in the world. If, I'll tell you what, dear. If it's warm and it's uh, <laughs> it's available, <laughs> that's what guys want. So all these nice things that they're saying, oh, you're this, that, it's okay. Hey, hey, you can't say that word. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I try to stop myself. I'm sorry. Who, who has been, who's been seeing your stretch marks, these uh, married friends of yours? Well, I have a friend, you know, that's going through all that stuff right now. So What stuff? Uh, you know, dating and, you know, guys telling her that it's okay, you know, it's a stretch mark, this, that, yeah. whatever. Well, that's, that's, and, and, and the thing is, we have sex with you in the dark. We'll never see them anyway. Oh. Interesting. Well, apparently that guy didn't have sex with her in the dark because he noticed the stretch marks. Well, he knows the stretch marks. He wasn't having sex with her at the time he noticed them. Oh. She was probably, she probably shops at Torrid. She probably had one of those tube tops with her gut hanging out, and he was uh, anxious to get into her panties, and he told her he didn't mind the stretch mark. <laughs> and you're laughing because you know it's true. No, I mean, guys are 
it's like cold hearted. If it's, if it's, if this is true, I mean, come on. You have to have a heart. No. No, we don't. No, apparently not. It's sad, but true, I guess. No, no, we don't have a heart. Oh, my gosh. So this poor girl is thinking that she's found the right guy, but all along he's just playing with her, I guess. We were in our heart on her sleeve. And you know what that means? No, I don't. What does that mean? means we got a heart on. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Stop trying to pretend that you're smarter than you are, because you're not. I'm just a dumb bitch like the rest of the girls who call, right? Better words were never spoken. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like show. Yeah, 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 yeah. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Like us 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Good. How you doing, Dad? Doing great, son. Good. Um, well, I'm 18, as I'm well sure you know. And I've, I've had a girlfriend for a year. Um, Strike one. Yes, I know. I know you're going to give me crap about that. Um, and in the beginning, it was good. And then after a while, um, she got really psycho. She's tried to stab me. She's tried to throw my car off the freeway. I found out she's bipolar. And I found Sounds out. Sounds like true love. Yeah, I guess so. And, uh, and now she's been telling me that she wants, I'm going in the Navy. Um, and I'm doing special forces, and I need all the support I guess I can get. Not not from her, but just, you know, support I can get, trying to get through the boot camp of that. And she told me that recently now she said she's going to stop taking a birth control, and she's going to ruin my life. Who is she going to have sex with? Well, I'm saying that I haven't got no, to No, no, answer the question. Who is she going to have sex with? Well, she meant, she meant with me. Yeah, but you're not having sex with her. She's crazy. Well, I mean, I meant like now. But you're not having sex with her. I, I am right now. Why are you doing that? Well, I, I haven't got to the good part yet. I She gets mad if I use a condom, but she's taking birth control. And I said, I want to use a condom because I don't want any mis- mistakes. And she says, well, don't worry about it. If I if I get pregnant, I'm going to get an abortion. And then all of a sudden, she just came up and said, well, I'm going to ruin your life now. And then right when she's done being mad, she says, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. So I don't and know what. And you're still having sex with her? Yes. Oh, well, you're stupid. I, I guess so. You're stupid, and you're going to continue doing this until you ruin your life, which you're about to do. And I, I have another, I need another advice. Am I right about that? You're, you're very right about that. You're okay, very right so about good that. luck with your Wait, oh, wonderful oh, life. I need, I need, By the I way, need one more thing. I just want you to know that uh, I'll take paper or plastic, whatever's more convenient. <laughs> I need, because I need one you, more thing. Because when you get out, we'll get to the one more thing in a minute. Okay, 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 go ahead. Then don't get your panties in a bunch. Okay. I'm going to need somebody like you to pack my groceries later on after you've knocked up your girlfriend. And uh, after you get out of the military, that's about the job you're going to be qualified for. So, uh, or or possibly Jiffy Lube. I will take the uh, premium oil change. And I'm going to need you to be doing that. When my car's up on the rack, I'll be thinking of you. You're laughing. I am laughing because I always, I always. Because uh, you know it's true. That's why you're laughing. I, I know it's true, and and she's texting me right now because I'm not calling. Her. And you don't care. That's that's the amazing thing. You you care so little about yourself. Here you are, 18, and you've given up on your life already. Isn't that amazing? Man, I you've already I decided. You've already decided that you're you're a piece of crap. You're a lowly piece of dung that's never going to accomplish anything in life. And and so even though you have a chance to save yourself and you know it, you're not going to take that chance, are you? I guess I have to get enough balls to do it. You don't have any balls. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> yeah. So and here's the other thing that's amazing to me. You have the balls to go to Iraq, Afghanistan, wherever, and defend our country. Mm-hmm. But you don't have the balls to step up to some little bitch. 
And I was going to get you? to that. I was going to tell you. We haven't gotten to that. No, we'll get to it later. Okay. I, do you hear what I just said? I heard. We, I, I know you exactly are prepared to go to the Sunnis and the Shiites and the caves where bin Laden is hiding, but you don't have the balls to stand up to some little bitch, do you? I guess not. So isn't that amazing? This is who's defending our country. Cowards no, don't like, say that. Cowards <laughs> like you. Cowards like you. Yeah. Yeah, that's who's doing it. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You're right. Okay. You're right. You're right. And I'm you're, not going to argue with you. And you don't have right. the balls to even stand up to me. Yeah. I'm not a suicide bomber. <laughs> I'm not willing to crash into your tank or... Uh, you know, put out a landmine or anything like that, and you don't even have the, have the guts to stand up to me. Well, because I know you're right. That's the thing. I'm not going to stand up to something I know. So why right. do you think so little of yourself that you will let your life go up in flames? I want you to tell me specifically why, even though you have the opportunity to just stop having sex with this woman today and to prevent this disaster from happening. I want you to tell the class why you don't want to stop this disaster. Why do you want this disaster to happen? Tell us all right now. I don't, okay, I specifically don't yes, want this disaster you do. to happen. Yes, you, the, the next I've, time she spreads her legs and you insert yourself, you are preparing for disaster. You're right. Now, tell me why, tell the class, tell everybody why you want this disaster to happen because you're going to make it happen. Tell us why. She has cut herself. She has tried to kill herself. If I step if it up, I try to. I've tried to leave her many great. times, but she has cut herself and very tried nice. to kill herself. Very and nice. Her. That's great. So, it, so to make sure that doesn't happen, you're going to impregnate her. That's uh, yeah. great. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smart one, huh? Yeah, that's great. That's good. Yeah. good. Make I'll sleep well at night knowing you're defending our country. You know, my my recruiters told told me a long time ago to get rid of her. That she's uh, they're worried about my my well being going yeah. into the navy because when she, she gets her claws into your your pension, yeah. your benefits. Oh, and 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 when they I start garnishing her, when they start garnishing your military paycheck to pay yeah, off uh, the thing is your child is, Tom, support. I, I told her. I said. I said a long time ago. When I, I listen, I've been listening to you for a couple of years. My sister told me to listen to you. Which now is a you're good really thing. hurting me. I told her, I said, look, if things work out and we end up getting married, which is the first place. How long has she been your girlfriend? A year. And you've been listening for a couple of years? Yes. So so let's review, son. (laughs) You already knew what my stance was on girlfriends under the age of 25. Yeah. You've been in the classroom. Yes. And you thought you knew more than me. Is that right? No, no, no. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because I told you what not to do, and you did it anyway, didn't you? Yeah. That's because you thought you knew more than the professor, right? (sighs) You thought... Yeah, yeah, let's uh, yes, review. Yes, I thought. You yes, thought, I, yes, I, I thought, yes I thought. you thought. Here's what you thought. You thought, oh, no, I know he's saying that about the other people, but not me and, and my girl, because this is a special love. <laughs> a love unlike any other love. Don't make me sound gay, Tom. Come on. Oh, no. This is you. Hear the music playing? This is your story. Even though I know that Tom is my dad, he's the professor. All I can say is that he doesn't know the kind of love that I feel when I'm with my uh, you're girlfriend. Making me sound gay, Tom. The girl that I love. It's a love that's very special. A love that's more special than any other love in the entire world. He's not here when the two of us are holding hands and, and she's threatening me and stabbing me. He doesn't understand what true love really is. Because... He's a mere professor, and me, I'm an 18-year-old who knows what life is all about. If only he were here to see the kind of love we share, he would understand, but he's not. He's sitting there down at the radio station thinking he knows more than I do. I'm I'm 18, I was born in 1989, and who did, what does he know? What does that guy down at the radio station know that I don't know? I know... I know everything I need to know, and when I look into the eyes of this psychotic bitch, I see true love. What does Tom Likas know about true love? That's you, isn't it? 
not ne- you make me sound so gay. That's you. <laughs> well, the thing I was getting to before, I took your advice and I told her I'm not I'm not doing anything. You didn't take my me. advice because you but, have a girlfriend. There, you did not there, take my advice. There's one thing. There's one thing. Let me let me say this one. Thing. How did you have a girlfriend if you were taking my advice? I know. Let me this, let me just say this one thing. <laughs> it's I told her I said I'm not doing anything with you unless you sign a prenup. And I lay that down. She goes. Oh, so wait, we even we haven't even talked about marriage yet. So you're also talking about marrying this psychotic bitch. No. Yes. I'm, well, you don't need no, a prenup if you're not getting Tom, married. No. Why would you need Why would you need a prenup if you're not getting married? Tom, you don't understand. I'm stuck. I've tried to break up with her before. You're not stuck. If she kills kill herself, herself, you are. If she kills herself, you are free. Free. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the best scenario. Are you kidding me? If she takes a kitchen knife and carves out her own heart, you're free. Oh, uh, you're right. What are you worried about? Uh, you're right. Of course you're right. You're always right. You're Tom Lankus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big man. <laughs> big man who has a girlfriend at 18. And as yeah, you're talking know. about marriage and having babies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know what yeah. I'm talking about. Now she's calling Look at that. Really? Why don't yeah, we talk really. to her on the air? I'll tell you what. I'll resolve this right now. Why don't we no, talk no, to her? No, 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 no. Come on. That. Come on, Mr. Big Shot. Let's talk to her. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Step it up. Come on, big man. Let's go. Let's talk to her. I'll talk to her right now. Tom, you can't do that, Tom. Well, listen, this is a man. Uh, folks, this man is defending our country. Uh, what, what, country you, Come on. what country are you being dispatched to, son? <laughs> look, look. Look, what? Where are you being deployed? I want to know. Next, okay. By the end of this weekend, I will dump her, and I will call you next week, and I will tell you I, exactly. What all happened. I want, Osama bin Laden. I know you're out there. I will, is, this is the man who's going to try to stop you. A man who can't <laughs> even stop his 18 year old girlfriend from being a psychotic bitch. This is who's going to defend us against the next 9/11. The man who can't even stop having sex with a psychotic bitch. Uh, that's you. That's me. Yeah, that's great. Well, I know I'll sleep tight tonight knowing that you're out there <laughs> defending my rights. Well, I don't go in until next year, so you have a little bit more time. You can't now. even defend yourself against a psychotic bitch. She's crazy. Yeah. So, so let me understand. You think... Osama bin Laden is less psychotic than this bitch you're dating. Oh, definitely. Mm. Definitely. I mean, so if Osama wanted to have sex with you, would you give in and do that? I would take that in a heartbeat. Really? <laughs> I'm messing around. But honestly, she's she's very she's taking her medicine, so she's been better. Oh. And why are you having by the way, why did you ever have a relationship with someone who's on medication? At first, she wasn't like this, and after a while... Oh, yes, yes, I know, I know, because it's a love unlike any other love. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're great. I know, I know I'm great. I, I know, that's why I'm down here at the radio station, and... And you're, you're making off, a lot more money than you're I am. All, And you're out there defending me against Osama bin Laden. <laughs> exactly. That's great. All right, uh, so the point of this call was what, exactly? Just... To, to to know how much of a pussy I am. Just, you, just to put you, needed it, just, to, you needed to call me to find that out? Well, yeah, because I knew you would get on me about it, and I needed someone to get on me about it to, sh- to show to show. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to change anything. Yeah, yeah, it will. Over time, it will. I'm going yeah. to yeah, learn my, I that, no, learn my over time. the hard way. Forget it. No, you're going you know, to knock her up. Yeah. You're doing it. Yeah. You already know you're doing it. Then the psychotic bitch will be taking money out of your military paycheck, getting her claws into your pension. No. Yes, that's where it's going. But, son, apparently you are dead set in favor of doing this. And that's what you're going to do. I'm going to call you next week. Yeah, you go ahead and call me next week. I know you won't call me next week because I know that she holds sway over you and that you're going to do exactly what that psychotic bitch wants. The Tom Likas Show.